in not just Indonesia, if you go to Jamie Oliver restaurant and you eat the food there, you will realize even random shit from street tastes better than his food. Oh, yeah, he did. Have you checked out Haya podcast yet? Because in latest episode, Uncle Roger go on there to give you dating tips. I know many niece and nephew single and lonely. So finish watching this video and go check out Haya podcast. I, I Link in description. <laughs> Some of my favourite dishes come from food stalls around <laughs> Asia. And today, I'm transporting you back to that beautiful country, Indonesia. So, are you ready for a delicious Asian noodle dish in just 10 minutes? Ah, Indonesian noodle. So Gordon making me goreng. Bet Indonesian for stir-fry noodle. And now, please. Right, uh, beautiful noodles. Yeah, noodle noodles. Um, what? what? What he say? Beautiful noodles. Yeah, udon noodles. Uh, udon oh, noodle, Japanese. Hiya. <laughs> Mi goreng, just use egg noodle. Or even better, you can stir fry indomie instant noodle. That's super authentic way to make mee goreng. And mee goreng is very flexible dish. Anything can go in there anyway. Remember niece and nephew, Gordon nailed his egg fried rice. He get called Uncle Gordon. But then he fucked up ramen. So Uncle Roger take that title away from him. Let's see if he can win it back. Bacon. This is sort of streaky lean bacon. Bacon? Bacon a bit weird. Let's see what he do with bacon. I want the flavour from it, okay? No. So I'm going to cut nice, large noodles. The street food phenomenon in Indonesia is incredible. You can actually eat sometimes better on the street than you can in a restaurant. It's that good. Correct. Indonesia street food, very good. But in not just Indonesia. If you go to Jamie Oliver restaurant and you eat the food there, you will realize even random shit from street tastes better than his food. Oh. Bacon goes in. No. Okay. And the secret here is to get a bit of tech. <laughs> I think he trying to use bacon as replacement for pork lard. Maybe pork lard hard to find in West, so Gordon used bacon to cheat it. But Gordon, most people in Indonesia Muslim, they cannot eat bacon. Hiya. Maybe Gordon bacon halal. Niece and nephew, anything can be halal if you put your mind to it. Even smoky barbecue pork. Is it halal? Is smoky barbecue pork halal? Yes. The sauce. <laughs> Don't go too crazy on this. Okay? Sauce, sauce important. Because I like it quite spicy. I like it quite sort of uh, acidic. In goes the minced garlic. Garlic, okay. Ginger. Ginger, okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. Fragrant. Some brown sugar. Brown Some sugar. Full sweet brown sugar. A little bit of togarashi spice. Togarashi. That sort of Japanese spice. again. Hi, yeah. Two parts soy. Soy sauce, good. I like how Gordon pour using feeling also. Fuyo, that's how you know he good chef. He just throw. Also, using soy sauce and brown sugar correct because Indonesian fried noodle. Most important ingredient in there is sweet soy sauce, ketchup manis. Gordon know how to get ketchup manis in Western country. So he make his own. Not bad, not mm -hmm. bad. Remember for Asian cooking. Don't that's all. Just don't. You use white sugar. White sugar <laughs> for uncultured people. Two parts soy. That's true. I've never seen white okay. sugar used in anything so like that. So literally, three tablespoons of soy sauce. Three tablespoon. Three tablespoon, and then he pour half the bottle. Hi yeah. Nope. One nice tablespoon of oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Really good mix. Okay. Uncle Roger prefer if you use shrimp paste, but Uncle Roger no. Shrimp paste is white people kryptonite. It killed them all. They can't handle <laughs> the smell. Only smell. Asian people can handle shrimp paste. It's an Asian privilege. If you have white it people friends come visit you that. and they don't leave just microwave <laughs> shrimp paste, they fuck off instantly. Two parts soy, one nice tablespoon of oyster sauce. A nice teaspoon of ground coriander. Gordon used feeling for all the ingredients so far. But then why you have kitchen skill at the back there, Gordon? Why? Has Nigella been around to cut her white powder? Now, the flavors <laughs> in there 
Wow. Wow. I like to get this sauce made up, literally. Start with fire. Gordon, why use whisk? Whisk is the worst kitchen utensil. Needs a nephew. You ever put whisk in your kitchen drawer? And then what happened? Kitchen drawer cannot open. Hiya. Whisk will fuck up your drawer. Don't use whisk. Proper Asian way. You want to mix things? Just use chopstick to mix. Use chopstick. Oscar, pan down, man. Look, that fat now is coming out of the bacon. Okay? If the cameraman in Weijo, you fucked up. Look at the back there. The only cookbook Gordon has is his own. I think <laughs> Gordon in love with himself. Check the flavor. Mm. Wow. That's delicious. It's sharp. I'm going to just increase that sort of soy richness, darkness in there. And let nice feeling again. Always taste while you cook. That's very good. It's nice and thick, not too watery, but every mouthful is packed with that wonderful Asian flavour. Wonderful Asian flavour. That sound a bit dirty. Uncle Roger, like, I'm gonna use that <laughs> phrase with all the new auntie. Sorry, children. Hello, auntie. What you doing? Would you like a mouthful of wonderful Asian flavor? But seriously, wonderful Asian flavor sound very vague because Asia, big place. Yep. You say Asian <laughs> yeah. flavor, nobody has idea of what it actually tastes like. That like saying you should try this sauce, it tastes very black, or you should try this food, it tastes very white. Actually, that one kind of work. Stays really nice and crisp. <laughs> so eggs. <clears throat> Always crack on a flat surface into the pan. Oh, yo, that crack. impressive. And nice packing egg with Never one hand. It's like taking bra good. off with one hand. Yeah, Important skill to master in life. Now, please, <laughs> Oscar, back on yeah. the heat. But look, or all the the but look at what? I uh, go back a bit. Go back. See? That don't even look like stir fry noodle. That look like white people breakfast, egg and bacon. Really this look like stuff I, British I people exactly. looks eat delicious. when they hang over. Yeah. Where the meat go no problem with it. Where? And just break that up. Nope. Break that up. No, no. You're probably what the fuck is wrong with you, boy? Uncle no, no, Roger no, gonna say hi, yeah. Don't like use metal, you can't right, scramble so eggs and omelets. Pan. But it. actually, yeah. Gordon have special pan. It non-stick. But you can use Whiny metal bitch. in their food. He's, he's me for Roger having a different taste in foods compared to you. <laughs> 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 it a dream come true. Gordon give me his special pan. So thank you very much, Gordon. See, this the what Gordon give me. See, I just put it here. Easy access. So when people ask Uncle Roger, where am I walk? Where am I walk? I go, it right there. The inside non-stick, but you can use metal spoon in there. See? Using metal in non-stick pen, like saying nice thing about Auntie Helen. It still feels so wrong. From there, <laughs> take your noodles and lay those noodles over those eggs. And Finally, the noodle so go in. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Press them down into the eggs and the bacon. Don't use your hand, you're gonna burn yourself. <laughs> A little season. It's probably so burnt sand so much that you can't feel it anymore. Is this Gordon's yeah. version of no, MSG no, 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 or something? Hi, uh, why use it so many times, Gordon? It's okay to use regular <laughs> chili powder. No need so <laughs> fancy. <laughs> okay, and start caramelizing that really nicely. Now, the Asian greens, okay? <laughs> Asian greens? That what Uncle Roger call my money. Just nice slicing. Thinly. The leaves. Are really tasty. You can hear those noodles sort of tasty. No, away. all vegetable taste like set. Over, and then bang! Look, this is gonna send Uncle Roger into overdrive. What? Trust me. You know it's gonna make me angry, and you still do. Now, I know I'm using a frying pan, and he loves the wok. But trust me, I've been to Indonesia more times than he has. Let me tell you. <gasps> the sauce. <laughs> Did God oh, just no. call out Uncle Roger? Trust me, I've been to Indonesia more times than he has, let me tell you. Go Indonesia so many times for what? You still use wrong noodle, <laughs> hi. <-ya. laughs> Not everybody rich like you, Gordon, can fly here, fly there. When Uncle Roger get money, I gonna go to Indonesia also. Maybe I do my stand-up tour there. What you think needs a nephew? If you want Uncle Roger to tour Indonesia, leave comment down below. Large spring onions and just go at an angle, okay? Good. Them up and they go in on top. Beautiful. Some coriander, some bean sprouts. Plant those sprouts over there. 
mee goreng, same like egg fried rice. Everything must be prepared and then go in at once. That good. There's the go. Whack up the heat. Touch of salt. And now we start mixing, OK? Yep. I give that a really good toss. Okay. To the See that why you need to use wok. There's too much shit in the frying pan. There's not enough space for the food to move and cook. We got just pan down, please, Oscar. Just check this out. Put that crispiness in the bacon. See everything stacking on top of each other. Hiya, Gordon. You used to be wok fuck boy. You got so many wok. What happened to you now? Now you're just cooking with one frying pan. Just use walk, don't walk, block yourself. And all of a sudden, it's starting to form. <laughs> it's beautiful. This overcrowded. See his pen? Overcrowded. Tasty. Yes. Now, before that comes out, his pen more overcrowded than Japanese train higher. Oh boy. Oh, Roger, watch carefully. From there. Okay, I'm watching. Oh, sauce, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, soy. Now. One more toss. Watch, watch, watch. You're just putting sauce on noodle. Wow, so excitement, so adrenaline. I don't know if my heart can <laughs> handle this level of excitement. Sauce on noodle. Too much sauce, you're going to drown it. It's just coat those noodles so they're lightly glazed, but you don't... Nothing worse than a soggy noodle, let me tell you. Hi, yeah. How Gordon know the reason my ex-wife left? <laughs> All my nephew out there, you ever have your noodle get so soggy and you look at your noodle and you go, hi, yeah, why so weak? So, so weak, weak, weak. Now, turn that over. And now, see the colour. Please, Oscar, pan down. Pan down, Uncle Roger. Open your eyes. Look, beautiful. Open my eye? My like eye three or four open, times at least. Gordon. Just because I'm Asian and my eyes small, don't mean it close, okay? Chili, ginger. Off. And when we come to serve, Generously done. The smell is incredible. Let's be honest. There's nothing there for two or three of you. And there we go. Amazing Indonesian street food phenomenon. Fuyo, it looked good, Gordon. Look good and done in 10 minutes. So fast. Most impressive thing is that he make his own kicap manis. Uncle Roger, maybe I add some shrimp paste, some sesame oil, and of course some MSG. But cannot give you Uncle Taito back. Because you use udon noodle, hiya. This much better than Gordon Ramen. Wrong noodle. Joke. I give Fail. you that, but Gordon, you used to be walk fuckboy. What happened to your walk? Did you send Uncle Roger your last walk? Because I can send it back to you, no worry. Just let me know. Please go back to being walk fuckboy. Frying pan fuckboy don't sound as good. If you have whisk at home, throw it out. Give it to your enemy. Fuck up their drawer. <laughs> come, come, auntie, come. Come try some wonderful Asian flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking egg with one hand, it like nope. taking bra off with one hand. Important skill to master. <laughs> Don't walk block yourself. <laughs> All my nephew out there. You know he's you getting too tired at this point. Yeah. Not soft and soggy. So weak. Why so soft? So soft. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I wish we got better close up. The color looked good, but Uncle Roger can't tell if the noodle yeah. overcooked or undercooked. It's like Pandora's walk. Listen, this yeah. interview. Dating is like job interview. You always have to lie to get the job. Alright? So you see woman, you see man, you go on date, hide your crazy. Don't show them you're crazy on first date.